Hi there, so here I am with a little bit about the Sacred Temple and this is about receiving feedback from like-minded peers who are also very spiritually gifted and the benefits and the strength and the power that come from that. Now it's funny because after the Lionsgate Portal group that, that was very much in the same energy, three members of that group separately said to me afterwards that I was a way shower. They just referred to me as way shower. And honestly, I had to pause a little bit and just go, really? It was like the word judded through me as I integrated and prepared to accept the mantle because way shower carries great responsibility. And honestly, I had not framed or witnessed myself as a way shower before. I probably would have said, somehow it works when I rock up and tell my own stories because it gives other people permission to do the same. Way show is a little bit more comprehensive, a little bit more going on there. Um, so this was like feedback for me. However, this is just an illustration of what everybody was getting out of the group. Now, when you're held in a group and you're given permission to literally just say, right, okay, show us your gifts, show us who you are, tell us who you are, demonstrate if you want, just come on here and do a do a live video, sing in your light language, do what, do your thing, literally do your thing. No egos at all. You're not going to threaten me, blow my neck. <laughs> you're not going to scare me off. I've got so many skills. Like, I don't want any more. I want to see yours. Yeah. When you get seen, by people who are on the same page and equally gifted in their own unique right, then you start to see yourself as having amazing gifts rather than being a little bit hidey and shy and feel weirded out because the people in your regular life, in your everyday circumstances, don't get you and they can't really support what you're saying or bringing. Now, some of the ladies in that group who are coming into this group, they also revealed that they've been to spiritual circles and shared their, been encouraged to share their gifts. And when they did, the group leader would be like trying to give them advice or suggest that they need healing out of those gifts or that there's something wrong with them. And it's like, no, <laughs> it's the very opposite. So you go back to feeling like you don't belong again. Um, and that can be online or it, you know, online groups, or it can be in-person sister circles. Now, if you've not had feedback before at a level where it really mattered, then you might start seeing yourself through new eyes and being able to practice your gifts and share your gifts and come on in leaps and bounds. So the feedback from that group was, this was so powerful. It was impactful. I noticed myself going out, sharing different things with different people, opening up conversations, feeling more sure of myself and seeing the impact on others around me. I mean, this is amazing, right? This is how we pass the torch from person to person. Now, all paths are valuable. It may be that you're, you've got loads of different healing modalities um, and skills and tools and techniques. Um, you might be a hypnotherapist and you're trained in EFT. You might be a researcher. You might have a particular um, area of interest that you're going to research and write a book on. Yeah, but can you see how you might be? A, you might be a creative. You might be a leader of a group. You might have a particular niche that nobody else has thought about. These are the kind of people who make it into my world because they do not fit into the five hundred thousand million strategy containers that have tagged to the word spiritual on the end. Oh my god. <laughs> So if you find yourself not fitting into those places, it may be actually that you just need a group of people to witness you who are equally gifted and permissive and who are rooting for you and encouraging you and celebrating you as you go out there and do your amazing thing. So in the sacred temple, you can come in and basically just share your gifts. In fact, it will be a requirement for you to share your gift. Now, just as an example, one lady on the Lionsgate group, right at the start, she was very aware that she'd been hiding. She had a lot to say, great perspective. She's been my friend online for 
probably five years um, and was really shy about speaking up, you know, the whole throat thing. By the end of it, I'm not kidding you, she was doing live videos as though we were watching a spiritual master and that's in 23 days. I'm not even faintly exaggerating. The level and depth of stuff that she had to share was massive and uncommon and most likely too much for most spaces. But you're not going to be too much for my space, okay? <laughs> So this is going to be a place on a monthly membership where you can just keep rolling. You can, there are no tie-ins, so you can stay for as long as it feels good for you. You leave when it doesn't feel good, right? You will probably stay. Um, one lady already said to me, I know that I want to come into this group, but not just get stuck there. I want to use that group as the empowerment and the springboard to go out there and practice those gifts and show show them and be out there in the world doing my thing confidently in my own spiritual empowerment, in my own spiritual sovereignty. And that is the purpose. That's what I want for you too, to take that courage and go and shine it out and pass that torch on because there are people in this world waking up left right and center who's waking up everybody who's raising their consciousness everybody who's healing everybody does it look messy of course it does that's why you're needed all of you okay what we're going to do is build a really strong network of supportive friends who make you feel seen heard valued witnessed empowered let me know if you want in.